New developments tonight in the murder of a man found dead on his boat in Warwick. Today, the two men accused of killing him for money appeared before a judge. Fernando Silva's family was also there, watching tearfully as the suspects entered their pleas. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright spoke to the victim's relatives. In an interview, you'll see only on Eyewitness News. It was an emotional day in court as the family of Fernando Silva sat in the same room as his accused killers. One after another, two accused killers stood before a judge in Warwick Friday and pleaded not guilty to murder and conspiracy. All the while, the victim's family was watching. To come to the courthouse and see those assassins, those hoodlums, it just breaks my heart. Amelia Costa says her brother, Fernando Silva, known as Captain Freddy, was a friendly, caring man who loved traveling and living on his boat. This is what the 70-year-old looked like as a young man. He had a lot of friends. Yeah. He was a good person. His carefree days on the water ended in August when police say 45-year-old Tory Gunderway and 41-year-old Richard Barabalt beat him while trying to steal his lottery earnings and left him for dead on his boat near Warwick Cove. <laughs> We're so sad. <laughs> A devastating loss for both his ex-wife and their two sons. It upsets me to know that his little grandson will grow up to find out that his grandfather died in this manner. Richard Barabalt's lawyer says he expressed condolences to the victim's family, but he says his client didn't do it. He's presumed to be innocent until proven guilty, and there's a significant number of facts out there that suggest that, in fact, he did not commit these crimes. Both suspects continue being held without bail. I'm Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.